Control Shift Enter. This is 2023. Whoever uses Control Shift Enter, well, you might. You might have to. Here, we're going to match team by player. Matching. Do a lot of matching in Excel, but on the surface, it can be what appears simple. Might be, as soon as we turn over some rocks, it might get a little more difficult. Let me explain what I'm talking about here. If we go through here, we have different players, and we're trying to match team by player. Some of the tools we're going to use, index and match. There's that mmult feature again, transpose and columns. Our narrative, pretty straightforward. This information here, I'm going to discuss how to piece this thing together. This is a puzzle, and here are the pieces, and we're going to put all of this together. So in the end, you're going to be able to look at this and understand what each of these functions do. Let's move forward. Brad Williams, Excel Primed, match team by player. We're looking at comparing rows to columns. And the best tool to use here is the mmult, the mmult function with transpose. That way we can do an apples to apples comparison instead of driving ourselves crazy. Like this, this structure from an outsider looking in is challenging. Even designing this can be, it can be a task. So I'm going to try to break this thing down piece by piece. We've done this a couple of times. The emult, just the name itself is a challenge. We're multiplying two arrays. Because we have columns and rows, we have to transform this into these columns. We want to put them down into rows and then multiply them. And this emult handles it in a breeze. Here we have players and we want to match the team. And here is the team. And in this list is a name. So we have to find that particular name and match to the team. All right. Here is the layout. It's pretty straightforward. Here is the anatomy. And I've gone over this before. Emol is just returns the matrix products of two arrays. So what we're doing here is we have this emol, and we have this array, and then we have this array. We transpose this information. Notice columns. We're just transposing this, so we can just simply multiply uh, rows to rows instead of rows to columns. And I'm going to show you all that in a second. Here's the write-up, and I'm just going to show you what the write-up details. Here, again, I'm just going to grab this copy. I'm going to paste the formula right here. Make sure you just put a space in here if that's important. Here is basically this formula broken down piece by piece. We have column, column, transpose. We're taking the columns and we're transposing them. We're converting them over into one by using an exponent of zero. Converting those over to one. Why? because we're just trying to match. We're not trying to sum up anything here. Then we want to look at the players. Then we use mult. So basically we're going to take player times one, then player times one, player times one, and then we're going to get zero. Then we're going to do this repeatedly. Why? That's the array, and this is the array. These are both arrays. And then match is just going to match this up. In other words, it's going to find the, the match and then pass that over to index. So let's take a look here. Here's column. Column, players 289. Here, here's the formula, players 289. We're not going to deal with that, that exponent yet. That's involved with transpose. See, we have just 3, 4, 5, column. 3, 4, 5. I want to highlight this in yellow. I don't want you to count that column. That's the team. Here are our players. That's what we're looking for. And then we use transpose. All we're doing is taking three, four, five, transposing them, and then using the zero exponent, we convert those over to ones. Then we have, if we look here, players equals 289 equals G5. Players, we have players C5 
5 to E8, C5 to E8. We're going to convert the names here into 001. We're using players 289 equals G5. We're being a little explicit here. We want this to equal Brad. If we find a player that matches, then give us a thumbs up, true. And then we use this urinary. If not, if we use this, get rid of this, we're going to have true and falses. See that? We're going to put that back in place. Why? Because mult needs something to multiply. And we're just taking players here, this array times this array. So if we look at this thing, F9, we have 1111, and then we have F9 and 0001. And then all we're doing is this huge multiplication deal. And I'm not going to break that down. You can. But in the end, this is the end result 0100. Zero, zero. And what does that represent? We have four rows one, two, three, four. M mult is going to show this one. Then what happens is match is going to come in here. Okay, if we look at this entire thing, if we go over here to match. We have this match one, which is what? It's our lookup value. Our lookup array, here it is, it is 0100. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Even though it looks like columns, it's looked at in terms of from match. It's looking at this lookup array, F9. Its match type is zero. In short, we found, we found the one. Where? In two. In two. And ultimately, when we pass this over to index, it's going to say what row number? F9 is two. Be sure to check out all of our Excel courses. Excel data and text manipulation. We have an advanced beginners and intermediate course. Excel Essentials. This is for individuals new to Excel. We have an advanced, excellent beginners, level one and level two, and intermediate level course. Excel Formulas. Formulas only. We have a beginner, an advanced, and an intermediate level course. Click on any of the links. There's a short video that explains everything about the course. Check it out. The answer is Tiger. The MO, hard to read, okay? It's hard to decipher that this information here, this translates into the row number, F9. 001, 1111. So we're converting, we're converting the 1111, which is the columns, over into here into 0001 and ultimately that converts into row row two notice here we have one two three one two three that's essentially saying this is row one then you see this break here that's the semicolon that would be the second row then sorry columns we're looking at columns here. One, two, three. We're looking at columns, zero, 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 then zero, one, zero. Okay, we're looking at zero, zero, zero is the rows. And there's going to be, you see the break here, the semicolon? This is row one. We're taking this row times this column. All right, so that would be player one. Then we have the second row times the second column. And then we have the third, third row. Then, now if we look at this breakdown in this ML, 0, 0, 0 represents Tom, Mark, Miriam. Then we have 0, 1, 0, okay, which is going to be Stephen, Brad, Michelle. Then we're going to take first zero and multiply it times one. Then we go down, go over here. You see this break here, this zero? That's the second row. This zero is going to multiply again times column. 
Then we're going to go to this third one, two, the third break here, which is the one, two, we see this third, one, two, one, two, the second, the second semicolon, we're going to multiply that times one. And then in our ultimately, you're going to see that match row number match go here look up our match m9 is going to be look up value look up array f9 is going to be zero one zero zero essentially we're multiplying this times this this times this this times this this times this okay if it's true it'll show one if not it's going to be zero here because we had this g player 289 equals g5 brad well we're going to go here mark no does this equal in short what we're asking is what team matches a player and the best way to do that is just using a multiplication and that mult as i as was shown is because we're using this players the players okay players 289 equals g5 we got to go through that test first in order to say yes then we're going to take our m mult we're going to take our teams and then multiply times the players to get the final answer which is going to be two okay i know it's really really tough to explain this m mult mathematically tear this thing apart piece by piece and then this m mult just remember columns times rows brad williams xl prime